morning. Beautiful day on the Indian River Lagoon. Today I'm targeting tarpon, my favorite thing. Uh, we'll see if I can actually land one myself. What I'm going to show in this video is how you can find your own secret tarpon spot. Uh, a lot of people commented they want to know where I was fishing and a few spots I go to. The people that show me the spots told me do not give out the spot. So, you know, I respect that. I don't give out the spots. And on the videos, I make sure it's very hard for you to even figure out where I'm actually fishing. So I'm going to tell you how you can find your own because there's literally hundreds of hundreds of spots where these little juvenile tarpon hang out. And uh, usually like mosquito ditches, little lakes, uh, little creeks, and areas like Sebastian River. Those are areas that uh, you should target. So I like to fish high tide, but it could be low tide. Right now I'm going into a little mangrove tunnel. It's going to open up into a little lake. There's actually three lakes in this little section here. And I've done well with tarpon. Well, I've seen a lot of tarpon. I don't like to say I did well with tarpon. As well as redfish. So I'm sneaking in here now, being super quiet. I'm just looking for fish rolling. Once I see the fish rolling, I cast a small lure. Most people think tarpon you're thinking big baits, but uh, the old saying, elephants eat peanuts, especially for tarpon. Two best baits, if you're going to fish for them, I say number one, a fly rod. Nothing beats a fly rod. A small clouser, I'm sure the fly guys know, they got their favorite little tarpon fly. But it's a small bait, mimics a glass minnow or something like that. And if I'm going to throw a spinner, I'll throw in the little Uzuri 3DS. Tiny little lure some reason the tarpon love them but the secret is work it slow extremely slow if you're not getting bites you're moving the lure too fast i've literally had a tarpon hit that lure as it was just sitting really was almost motionless in the uh in the water column so i'm in this little uh creek area now A lot of little bait in here. I'm just looking for any kind of a sign of a tarpon. Okay, now to find uh, your own secret uh, tarpon spot, go on Google Earth and look for areas like this. Areas here where you see small little lakes, small little waterways, or it could be little creeks. Those areas can be hot spots. This one here, if you look, and this is where I am right now, it's like three almost really small lakes. And you can't really tell from uh, Google Earth, but there's a little mangrove tunnel leading to that area. So I'm able to get back in here. Boats usually, you'll never see a boat in this spot. But the juvenile tarpon love to hang out in here. Then you got areas like this. It's a larger lake area. And here you can clearly see a pass getting into that lake area. And uh, still small but it keeps most of the boat traffic out areas like that can be really good also check out little creeks canals rivers Sebastian River those can be excellent spots too so you know you can do a lot of research on Google Earth plan it out then take your day out and go hunt them now don't plan your whole day for tarpon because you know if all you want to do is catch tarpon you might go all day hook one or two and that's that, that's usually a pretty good day so plan on you know catching some snook catch some trout catch some redfish also so if for some reason like right now there's no tarpon in this little area I'm in right now doesn't mean it won't be here later but uh, you know I'm not gonna waste too much time if they're not rolling I'll make a few casts <clears throat> then I'll move on I'll catch some snook trout some redfish and go check out another area. That's where I'm going now. I'm going to go check out this uh, area that I never fished before, <clears throat> but I've seen it on Google Earth. It looks fishy. I think there'll be tarpon in there. So I'm going to go over there, head over there right now and check it out.
All right, today's my typical tarpon day. I don't get anything. Matter of fact, I didn't even see any roll, but uh, that's tarpon fishing. But I always have a backup plan. If the tarpon aren't there, make sure you can go out for something else because they will drive you crazy. Also for baits, I'd say number one, fly rod. Fantastic way to catch them. Number two would be my Usuri 3DS. Work it slow. And if these uh, tarpon, sometimes they're in these little side canals too, or these houses, you got those little canals feeding off the intercoastal, they can be a hot spot for tarpon too. And if you're fishing deeper water, sometimes a small DOA terrorize. I like the gold color with the flake and uh, go with other uh, color you got confidence in. Thing with that lure, again, throw it to the bottom and work it slow. You'll see the tarpon rolling on the top, but if it's deeper water, many times they're feeding off that bottom. So if you slowly drag that lure on the bottom, there's a chance you'll get hooked up. Or at least a catfish. You're pretty much guaranteed a catfish. Anyway, these are my tips. Guys, if you like my channel, you see the little uh, thing right up here in the corner, paddleboard, you click on there, you can subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, guys, get out there and catch some fish.